What's up, everybody? We're still here on 12.3.6. I think we missed that big push going out last night. I was pulling up testifying. There's about 1,714 currently sitting on Wi-Fi and a big push for 14.6. And I still haven't got it. I used my one-time check at 9.40 a.m. today. All right, so what we're going to do is I went ahead and put in feeling lucky. So we're going to... Oh, wow. We got some different options today. The first one is the fountains at Bellagio. Wow, that'd be cool. That's 17 miles away. We got Centennial Hills Park on North Buffalo, Aliante Nature Park. Let's go to the Buffalo. So it looks like 4.4 miles. Let's go ahead and initiate beta. We are here in the community, so let's see how we pull out. This is gonna be a tough one. I think this is an edge case. Yeah, we're gonna kind of get stuck here. Definitely an edge case. So we're not going forward. We stopped at the curb. All right. So that was my fault. We are not ready for reverse yet, but that's getting close. I heard Elon talking about that on X, about making sure that the, car, the uh, Teslas also tell the fleet not to go down a road that might be closed to reverse out of. And we are back. Let's go ahead and turn on FSD. This is supervised full self-driving version 12.3.6. We got 12, or we have 14.6 rollout with a new UI on the horizon. You probably got it already. One thing I'm gonna notice with the updates is if you're waiting for an update, like maybe you get it early this time, but then on the next rollout, you get it late. So if you were waiting before you get it early, it kind of goes back and forth, I've been noticing. Looks like we're taking a right. We are clear on all sides here. This is Thule Springs. We're at the end of the road, all protected land. We've got a stop sign. Looks like we'll be going through the stop sign, taking a right at the next light. We'll change our route up a little bit here. Now, after we go to Centennial Hills Park, I do want to go to Chipotle. We've got Chipotle on the menu for lunch. We are kind of going slow here. So we're in a 25. We have the automatic set speed on. Um, I'm going to keep it on assertive. Minimal lane changes off. Check our autopilot settings. We're kind of going slow here. Again, I've been getting a lot of regression on this update, or not this update, but this version prior to the update. Kind of going throttle or accelerator, back and up accelerator. I want to say on the drive over here, it was doing pretty good in managing the lanes. We're not in the turning lane. Pretty wide road here. Merging to the left, I like it. So yeah, how's your day been going? Are you on 12.3.6 yet? Have you got the free trial? My, I just got an email yesterday saying my trial's gonna end. I want to say it ends on May 30th. And while we're thinking about that, let me pull up the app real quick and double check and see what the dates are for the performance. They have not been moving at all. So I have that 2024 performance Model 3 on order. It's showing May 22nd to June 19th. No changes. I'm pretty sure on May 22nd it will change. <laughs> or hopefully I could have been. We need to, need to move over into the left lane here. All right, very late. Not too pro proactive there. You know, I might be pointing out all the flaws on FSD, but I love using it day to day. When I'm just driving though, I'll casually, you know, report bugs and stuff like that. For the drives, I'd like to see if we can do it zero disengagement. There's still quite a few interventions and I heard that 12.4 is supposed to be five to 10 times improved. And I, I believe you guys commented down below as well about that. So very stoked. The auto set speeds performing very good. Passing by the Floyd Lamp Park. Yeah, if you haven't been out to Las Vegas, a lot of great locations to, to visit. Got the Gill Creeks Nature Sanctuary, the bird ones, love that.
85 degrees here in Las Vegas and we are just cruising. And this is kind of how, this is a great representation of how my normal drives are on FSD. You know, it's in control. That way I'm not human driver going crazy at the wheel sometimes, you know? Especially if I'm listening to music, I drive a little bit more aggressive. But on FSD, it's always consistent. You're just cruising, very peaceful. It definitely helps keep you out of trouble. Got our left turn coming up. 0.1 of a mile. Once we take this stop sign, I'm going to go ahead and add in my second stop for Chipotle. Full stop. Very good. All right, kind of pulled into their merging lane on oncoming traffic a little there. Navigate to Chipotle. So we're going to add this to the route, see if it'll work. Looks like they open at 1030. But let's check our route now. Oops. All right, we're back on route to Centennial Hills. I accidentally deleted the route there. And then let's edit trip. So now it's recalculating the route. We still are going to Centennial first. You know my mind's pretty clear today guys not too much to talk about think about there's been a lot going on so yeah I want to say today is Siri how many days since March 30th it was 47 days ago so today is day 47 of the 100 day challenge and I'm not gonna lie I woke up this morning going man I got things to do Let's go ahead and crank out another video. Like, you know, it's not really about the FSD drives for me. It's not really about, you know, the YouTube channel, all the likes and attention and all that. It's really about setting a goal and accomplishing it and just knowing that you have it within you, you know, to keep pushing forward in your life. You can't stop trying. You gotta keep pushing harder. There's nothing better than at the end of the day when you push yourself to the limits, you know? Maybe you don't need to go out and you can take the day off, right? But it definitely, I think the goal to happiness is action. Like if you're constantly in action, you can never get stuck in the past. And that's what I think today. But my mind is very clear today. Absolutely. I almost just want to let go of that performance model three order to not let go of it in the sense of uh, canceling the order. Just stop thinking about it. Maybe I'll get that VIN soon. Got the green light, 15 mile an hour zone. So we've been having major issues in the school zone. It doesn't read the signs. It doesn't slow for children. Let's see what happens. We're on auto set speed, 35 speed limit. It's not seeing the sign. All right, let's go ahead and cancel. Too fast for school zone. All right, now we're going to go ahead and reinitiate it at the right speed. And we're definitely holding on. So let's see if it. So a phenomenon I've noticed is when you disengage and you re-engage, it does. It is more cautious. So, but we are starting to speed up again. To 20. We're still in the school zone. We're gonna cancel it again. Too fast in the school zone. Just for science. We're gonna put it back on. Very good, now we're out of the school zone, speeding up, not too bad. So in general, it didn't do too bad there. It definitely needs to get better. So hopefully with the whole retrain of the model, they fixed that one as well. Get a lot more clips from uh, school zones, that type of thing. 0.7 of a mile till our right turn. A little close to the line there. You can even see it here on the visualizations. I like to pick apart FSD, but I love it. You know, it's it's definitely a passion of mine. I can remember someone posting a while back that said, how do they let you uh, test this out? How are you a beta tester? And I'm like, how am I a beta tester? I just subscribed to it. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. That was a while back, it just popped in my mind.
Yeah, it's not that I'm a beta tester. I'm, I just find this beta fascinating. And it's kind of just like, this is the vlog. At least this month it has been. 47 days straight of FSD videos. All right, we got our turn coming up in point one of a mile. So this is Buffalo. We're gonna be pulling into the park and then we're gonna test out an auto park while we're there, Centennial Hills. So many great parks in Vegas, by the way, as well. You know, one thing I was thinking about yesterday is that audio came out pretty rough on yesterday's video. I think I had it on stereo or something, very strange. Hopefully I can fix it today. Got the green light, we're in the wrong lane. So we got 200 feet, or it says 200 feet till our destination, but it's probably about 100 yards. 150 yards, but did we move over? All right. Autopilot navigation complete. Pulling it super slow. I'm gonna give it some throttle. Okay, off throttle. I just kind of touched it for a second. But I mean, it did good pulling in there, that's for sure. So here is Centennial Hills Park. Quite a few people here having a little event. Please don't feed the wildlife. All right, let's go and disengage. And we are going to find an auto park. I think Ruben mentioned a comment yesterday. He said, find, or he had two comments. One comment was try to find a, a parking lot that didn't have any lane lines and see if it could park. And then the other one was to try to park in between, uh, I can't remember it. It might have to go on to the second video. Well, here's an interesting one. We have do have this spot right here that has uh, no lane. Mar it has the, uh, so I can't choose it either. It has like a, has lane markings in it where you're not supposed to park. Let's try right here by the median. One and two. Auto park, version one, 12.3.6. Ruben, sorry, man. I, I'm going to have to double check that comment. I know you had a pretty good question there, and I'm like, I think I could try that out. But the other type of parking maneuver I do want to try is a parallel parking. And what's funny is I was a uh, in an area yesterday that I was trying to park in some parallel parking and I tried to do it manually and I failed. I should have tried auto park in that situation, but it's way too much traffic. All right, we have arrived. Let's go ahead and turn off that camera, continue our trip, put it in park, charging up FSD. And in three, two, one, we are live. Oh, we are kind of close to that curb. We did pull out enough that I felt uh, confident, so very inching, inching through the parking lot. Eight, nine, speeding up a little. Not bad. I think FSD drives better in the parking lots, better than humans sometimes. All right, so we do need to merge over into this left lane to make our left turn. 1.7 miles to Chipotle. Kind of mixing it up on the bowls I've been getting lately. I'll tell you one thing though, it's definitely better to eat more whole style foods, like whole foods, than uh, so much process. Come on, beta, let's go. We got traffic to the right, traffic to the left. We jumped into the middle and behind us, yeah, we got some traffic coming up. Now we did jump into the middle with our left turn coming up, so I don't really mind that behavior too much. I have done that in the past and seen other people. Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. And we got the green light left, protected, arrow. I can't wait to see the new UI. I'm really, you know, I want to say it's been weeks since they released the info and now everyone's starting to get it. Very curious to see what it looks like if we got some new visualizations as well. I haven't really watched too many of the videos of people going over it. All right, we're slowing down. We do have cross traffic ahead. Got a couple pedestrians crossing over. We are in a school zone with children present. Looks like the school is active. Something's getting out. That emergency management truck just hit the curb. Got a pedestrian here. We're slowing down. All right. Now we got our arrow on going around. I'm guessing for uh, traffic flow. Got our destination right down the street, 1.2 miles, four minutes. So yeah, school's about to get out. Summer is 
I want to say summer is officially here. I feel like we got a spring and then we went right back to winter here in Las Vegas. So I'm just going to throw spring out the window and say summer has arrived because here in Vegas it's 85 and it doesn't take much to get hot. Like at 100 degrees, I don't really call it spring anymore. 70 degrees is my spring. We had a few days this year. And we got the green light. We're just sitting here waiting for this car to go. I wonder if RoboTaxi will implement some type of a honking system where if it gets stuck behind a car or if it'll just be aggressive and try to navigate around. Because that would be pretty smart. I mean, you got to think about it. To be end to end, like full, you almost need every scenario. So you got to be listening, seeing, feeling. Apply slight turning force. Merging over to be in the correct lane. Tell you what, when we get 12.4, I have a feeling my enthusiasm will be high. Now we're, we got the wrong arrow on here, complete fail there, but it did auto correct. I'm not sure why it wanted to turn left there. We are going straight through and pulling to the parking lot. Got the green light. Sometimes in life, you just have to slow yourself down too. Take a minute to enjoy and smell the roses, you know? Definitely uh, celebrate all your wins and accomplishments, you know, and keep on setting new goals, but definitely take a break. All right, we are clear. We're turning right. And it always does this second entrance, I've noticed. Kind of aggressive pulling in today. Nine, 10 miles an hour, a little fast. Yeah, look at that, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's definitely a different behavior today. All right, let's go ahead and prep up for auto park. We're gonna try it right under the flowers here because I'm probably going to the car wash after this. All right, one and two, let's go. I wanna say we've parked in this spot before. Let's see if we can make it in one shot. Come on, FSD. Got traffic all around in front of us, no one behind. Good distance from the curb, a little bit of a correction there. Pull it in tight. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna take two shots on this one. <clears throat> and we're pulling out. The guy in the Ford Taurus was looking at me like, why is that guy talking? And parking slow, slow. <laughs> Auto park is a phenomenon, I tell you what. But if we can get this good and fast and then even do like the reverse summon or the banish where you just jump out of the car and send it to park for you, I like that idea. I will test it out. And thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe, everybody. Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one.